Hello, my friend. My name is Amir. I'm talking with you from the SC Center. We are the official Canix Training Center. Today, I would like to talk about the ETR202 from the Elsner Electronic. These keypad are manufactured in Germany. They are the touch type in two color, black and white. Also, uh, as a design phase, they are awarded uh, with the Red Dot Design Award. So it is so stylish. And about the price, they are so economic. Uh, now we are going to get deep in this product and see the details of them. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you have any questions. <music> Okay, now we want to talk about Canix ETR201 and 202. Not only you can control the HVAC application in rooms like fan coil units or radiator or floor heating with such a DS device, but also you can control the blinds through it. So let's let's go. What's happening with this device? So here you can take a look at ETR. Uh, 201 with only one control of the blind or shutter and 202 to control uh, two motor it can be blind shutter window actuator and so on okay so uh, from here you can choose between different color and different model in function menu you can see what this product can do first of all it can uh, control the heating and cooling for sure as as I show you in ETR 101 then for LED that is existed on this product you you can uh, have have, an, have have different options first of all this LED can can automatically control according to the ambient lighting that is great and, 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 and as you will see I will leave it like this in, in parameter window also, there is possibility to control it individually through the parameter or objects. Then this product, uh, in this product, you able to use the area function. It means uh, not only you can control the blind, but also if you press these two buttons at the same time, you can control the switch or call the scene or send some value in one byte. So it is possible to have some hidden operation through this uh, through this keypad that is great for temperature of course this product it has the temperature sensor inside also in in parameter you can see that you can read the temperature from from another source and um, calculate some average between these two temperature and use it in your control close your control also, it's in terms of part, it's uh, support the proportional integral controller. That is so great. And finally, in addition to ETR101, it provides you some logic gates. So it has two and or two or and it has eight logic input. You can uh, enable it in the parameter and use it as, as you want. In a technical part you can see this product is the surface material is fully glass and the back of it is based on plastic also the IP environment is 10 so it should be used in inside of the building the dimension is regular in general that is so great is it's a very it, it has a low way that's nice so and the operation temperature is between 0 to 55 degree of Celsius and it can tolerate 95 percentage of the humidity. The operating voltage is only based on Kenix, so there is no need of extra 
wiring only the black and red can support the device the bus current in 25 milliampere so if when you want to choose the power supply unit you should take care of this 25 milliamp it is not 10 milliamp anymore so take care about it the maximum group out is 254 and something interesting is temperature resolution for this device is 0.1 centigrade so it can detect the temperature very precisely so if you need some more information you can download the data sheets or manual or the application the latest application software of it so in 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 a data sheet you can see the detail info for example for short and long operation according to the parameter setting also also the operation the back of the device you can see this device you can connect it to the Kenix with the Kenix connector also there is possibility to use some flat connector from the Elsner that helps us in installation of course in different installation and you can see the operation of the device and all the info if you need more information and you need more information about the um, programming you can go to the manual in manual there are all of the information of course the data sheet information it, uh, uh, is included and in addition of that you can see all the group objects that is provided by this device In the parameter window, there is a general setting that you can set the key information of the generating the telegram and the traffic of the data. I leave it as a default in temperature measurement and you can see all the options I, I tell you in ETR 101. They are all the same. So it is really help us because when they are all the same, so if you learn one of them, you can configure all of them. So it's nice. Then in continue, uh, we can see the temperature Dershall value. So there is two Dershall value it provides for us. In each Dershall value, you can use it to have a two point output according to the Dershall that you assign it in a parameter or send it by the group objects. So I don't want to use it at this moment. In temperature PA controller, of course, this is the closed loop controller. You can use this. And in LED part, you have the all possibility to control the LED. The default is based on ambient lighting of the room. Of course, you can select another things and let it to control by parameter or the group objects. In push button, there is three options. First of all, this use area operation. If you press two button at the same time so if you press yes you can see the in, in a function tab you can provide different data point types to control different things like call the scene or send some value in one byte or two bytes of course then in drive line one and drive line two drive when, when we call drive one line it means here this is a drive line one and this is a drive line two you see drive, drive line one and drive line two so for example if you choose the drive line one you can go to drive line and have a function blind blind means some curtain with a slat the roller shutter it's creating without a slat then owing it's uh, for shutter outside to protect against the sun for example and the window okay if i put it in roller shutter it's a swept up down so here you can reverse the moving because after installation you should uh, have the same moving as this uh, icon in a keypad then here about the operation it is really nice here because in compared to other brands it provides you fully function here first of all a standard option the standard option the long operation is move up down the shutter or blind and the short operation is stop if you put it in a standard inverted so it's vice versa the long is a stop and short is up down if you put it in comfort mode you can define the short operation long operation by yourself so these times are flexible to change and if you put it in dead man control of course i saw it in other brands with a different name so here when you push the button the shutter is go down or up and when you release it, it it's stop 
So according to the bus uh, chapter of the Canix basic book, I put it in the standard. And you can see the logic. You can have different input and of course you can have the AND or OR logic. And all of the objects are here. You can use all of the objects to perform your actions. Thank you so much.